Good evening, friends. My name is Gabe, and welcome to Church of Our Savior's Nightly Order of uh, Evening Prayer. Um, I wanted to do something a little differently tonight, so instead of doing Compline from our Book of Common Prayer, um, I wanted to introduce you to Night Prayer from the New Zealand Book of Prayer. Um, these are just a wonderful, beautiful uh, resource um, that I've used with students and, and, and a number of other places. Um, and Night Prayer is actually really, really, really beautiful. Um, there, you'll find an order for Night Prayer um, on our website. It'll actually start at page 167 and go all the way through, so you don't need to have a book or, or look at anything for that. If you do have a New Zealand Book of Prayer, um, I invite you to grab it, um, and I'll call out page numbers as we're going along. Uh, just so you know, we're going to read Psalm 16 um, in here, and uh, thank you for joining us once again. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late to take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, and for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love, O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home, Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. The page, bottom of page 169, Psalm 16. O oh God, I give you thanks for the wisdom of your counsel. Even at night you have instructed my heart. I have set your face always before me. You are at my right hand and I shall not fall. Therefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not give me over to the power of death, nor let your faithful one see the pit. In your presence is the fullness of joy and from your right hand flow delights forevermore. Continuing now on the bottom of page 172. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Now at the top, page 177. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still 
and know that I am God. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that healeth thee. In thee, O God, I put my trust. In thee, O God, I put my trust. In thee, O God, I put my trust. At the bottom of page 178. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, O truth of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Praise be to God. I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. On page, the top of page 181, we'll say the alternate version of the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, Mother and Father of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. We'll be ending on page 184. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. 
Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. O God of love and mercy, grant us with all your people rest and peace. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Thank you, friends. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful evening.